You guys see that ThinkPad behind me? It used to run Mint 19. I just installed Ubuntu Budgie 1810 on it. Let's check it out. So, what you're seeing on the screen here is actually the display from that laptop. I'm actually using a remote desktop um, program called Team Viewer. Team Viewer is a really nice remote desktop client. It is not free and open source software. It's proprietary software, but I've been using Team Viewer for years, so I I stick with it. So basically, I have connected my Lenovo ThinkPad that is now running Ubuntu Budgie 1810 Cosmic Cuttlefish. I've connected it to my main desktop, the which runs Manjaro, so I can you know control that computer on my desktop so I'm actually using the mouse and keyboard at my desktop but I'm controlling that machine back there that Lenovo ThinkPad so it's running again Ubuntu Budgie 1810 Cosmic Cuttlefish this is of course the Budgie desktop we go through the menu system really quick we can uh, check out what is installed by default here in Budgie so under accessories we have our calculator so open up the calculator I'm pretty sure they're using the GNOME calculator got basic mode scientific mode is there any kind of about information for the calculator it's probably this icon over here yeah calculator 3.30.1 it's the same gnome calculator that mainline ubuntu uses except that calculator took like two minutes to open up on the main version of ubuntu because they installed the gnome calculator as a snap pack i don't think Budgie is doing that because the calculator just opened up very quickly. Also we have our file manager. Looks like they're using the Nautilus file manager, the same file manager that mainline Ubuntu uses. So they're gonna use a lot of GNOME apps here. Uh, let's see, under accessories we have gedit, the standard GNOME text editor. We have maps which is GNOME's map utility. We have Plank. Now Plank is our dock. This left hand dock over here this is plank really nice uh, minimal easy to use dock not very complicated weather that's another gnome map we do have several games installed we have 2048 installed that's something you don't see installed every day now 2048 was in the news uh, a little while ago because somebody had actually repackaged this game and put some cryptocurrency miner in it <laughs> And that caused a, a bit of a controversy with Ubuntu and its software center. But this is 2048 3.30, um, a clone of 2048 for GNOME. So it, the GNOME guys are developing this. Also under games, we have Isle Riot, Isle Riot Solitaire. We have Mahjong. We have Mines. And we have Sudoku. Under graphics, we have our document viewer for viewing PDFs. Gthumb for our image viewer. LibreOffice Draw is installed, so is Simple Scan for a scanning utility. Under Internet, Firefox is the default web browser, which I believe Firefox was the default web browser in every version of Ubuntu I've taken uh, taken a look at so far, as far as the 1810 series. So most of them were already on Firefox 63, and that is the case with Ubuntu Budgie Firefox 63.0. So under internet, we have Geary for our email client. That's an interesting choice. If you're going to install an email client and you already had Mozilla Firefox, why not go Mozilla Thunderbird? I think most people would prefer that. It's you know cross-platform, works on you know Windows, Mac, Linux. Oh well, TeamViewer 14. Now that is me. That was not installed by default. I installed TeamViewer so I could record the display over there. So. Transmission is our BitTorrent client, standard uh, BitTorrent client in the GNOME desktop environment. Office, we have Calendar, Document Viewer again, and we have uh, some of the LibreOffice suite here. We have Calc, Draw, Impress, and Writer. Let's open up one of the programs. Let's open up LibreOffice Calc, which is the spreadsheet program. Let's see what version of LibreOffice we're on. I think all of the Ubuntu's are now on 6, yeah, 6.1.2.1. That's the version of LibreOffice Calc here. LibreOffice, again, is our free and open source alternative to Microsoft Office. Mostly compatible with Microsoft Office, but not 100%. Under the sound and video category, we have uh, Cheese for a webcam app. Very similar to how you guys see me using my webcam. and you, I've 
got a little rectangle with my head talking to you guys. Cheese does something similar. Uh, I won't open it up. It might actually control the webcam over there. <laughs> so, GNOME MPV is our video player. That's an interesting choice. Uh, I would have thought maybe they would have went with something a little better like VLC. Not that MPV is bad, but GNOME MPV 0 0.14. It's the video player. Also under sound and video, we have Rhythm Box, GNOME's music player. So it's really, you know, the GNOME suite of apps, just not with the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, but Budgie, you know, is GTK. It is a... Uh, and it's just really a gorgeous desktop, really clean. Uh, the workflow is very easy for newer to Linux users. Like if you're used to a Windows sort of workflow or even a Mac sort of workflow, you can you, you can get work done in Budgie. It's not uh, it's not strange. It's not foreign. It's really I, I say this all the time. Budgie is what GNOME three should have been. We have a category called Sundry, and that really doesn't have anything in it. We have, uh, of course, our system tools. Now, this is where we would find um, things like our budgie applets, which I'm assuming are like the uh, desktop panel applets, which we have several running right now. Speaking of which, if I quickly scan these, of course, TeamViewer is open. That I installed, and then when I have my Wi-Fi, I have Caffeine also running. By default, Caffeine is running. Our Quick Note application is also running by default. And then we have our Nightlight running by default. Places, this is our file manager. I guess a little applet for our file manager. Then Bluetooth and sound. We have our session settings where we can log out. And then, of course, over here, this button here should give us the Raven side menu here where we can, you know, get some more applets. And our notifications also appear over here. This settings button here brings up the budgie desktop settings where we can change a style of our widgets icons cursor the theme which the theme is gorgeous really I wouldn't change anything about this desktop I love the transparent the dark transparent theme the plank dock the icon set they're using is fantastic the wallpaper is just gorgeous I don't mind the little clock and date uh, widget here on the screen either we have an administration category where we can run the software updater. Now I just installed this not too long ago and I did update the machine during the install and I ran another update after the install just to be sure. So I'm pretty positive now the machine is up to date. We will run the software updater just to, especially for newer users that are thinking about checking this out to show you how easy it is to run the updater. There's nothing to update. You just click OK. If there were packages to update, then the button would say install and you click that and it just updates all the programs that needed to be update. updated and very easy. Ubuntu and all of its flavors really are geared toward the newer to Linux user. They make everything really simple. Um, your grandmother could run Ubuntu Budgie. <laughs> so uh, system tools. I'm going to go back to this for a second because there were some other things I wanted to check out. Budgie desktop settings here. Uh, the top panel so we have the option of rearranging the widgets in the top panel we can just move them we can also add widgets I'm not gonna bother doing that we could create a new panel if I wanted you know a top panel and a bottom panel for example or a left hand panel and a top panel or what have you I'm good with what they've got I don't mind the top panel and I don't mind the left hand dock um, if I was gonna run this long term which I am I'm gonna probably run this two or three months on that Lenovo t ThinkPad for my particular workflow what I probably will end up doing is moving the panel to the bottom the top panel to the bottom and getting rid of the dock altogether and I, I like to just run with one bottom panel if I'm using you know a standard desktop environment floating window manager but that's just my preference also we have a preferences category here in the menu system where we can change background let's see what wallpapers are uh, provided here. I really love the default wallpaper, but you know what? They do have some gorgeous wallpapers here to choose from. Since we're kind of using a dark theme, let's see what kind of light. Actually, you know, this is kind of neat. This pixelated picture here. Did that not change anything? There it goes. It's kind of like the default wallpaper, except, you know, this weird pixelation going on. That's 
really not bad if you like the default colors do some kind of nature photography here wow that's not bad either anyway just a very clean very polished distro I wanted to run it on physical hardware I had the options of putting it on my main machine because I have several extra drives SSD drives on my main machine or run it on one of my two laptops you guys know I have the Toshiba satellite that uh, I've been running Arco Linux on for a little bit and I had the Lenovo ThinkPad that's been running Mint 19 for a couple of months I decided to go with one of the laptops because while I do love the budgie desktop environment it's still not great on my main production machine as far as this triple monitor setup uh, it's not that great in my opinion yet for multi monitors for example I, I still think budgie doesn't have the ability to put panels on every monitor you can only put panel on one monitor that kinda sucks especially when you have a lot of monitors uh, I like having a panel on every monitor so that's kind of a deal breaker on my main production machine at least right now maybe that'll be remedied in the future I don't mind it on the laptop though I ran a Solus budgie on one of my laptops uh, for several months and it was great and so I'm gonna do the same thing with Ubuntu budgie uh, really wanted to support these guys um, I'm actually one of the patrons for the Ubuntu budgie project because again I just love where this distro is going every time I review it I'm impressed so anyway I, I keep you guys updated in the future as I you know live in Ubuntu budgie on my ThinkPad for a little while before I go this show is made possible by Ansem, Carlos, David, Leo, Rob, and Tony. Also brought to you by the fine ladies and gentlemen. You see all their names on the screen. Those are my patrons. If you enjoy this video, please consider supporting the channel. You will find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.